Have you ever wanted to save a web page? Then this guide shows you how to do that. If you're using Internet Explorer as your browser, then really you shouldn't be because Internet Explorer is old, outdated, insecure and no longer supported, can't keep up with modern day technology. But you can still save web pages if the web page will still load in there. So this is how you do it. So we go into Internet Explorer, okay? We find the page that we want to save. So I'm just going to go to say the BBC's homepage. And once that's loaded, you click on file, click save as, or if you don't have a file up there, then click on the cog in the top right hand corner of the screen there, and then click file, and then click save as, and then change the save as type to web archive single MHT. Now, if you haven't got that option, this is often blocked by the Google toolbar. So uh, you can disable the Google toolbar and reload Internet Explorer, or you can do this another way. You can turn off extensions by loading this way. So if I just come out of it, hold down the Windows key and the bottom row of keys on your keyboard and then tap the letter R, then let go of the Windows key, okay? This run box will appear. Delete out whatever's in there and type iExplorer.exe space minus ext off then press enter or return on your keyboard or click OK. And there you go, you'll see Internet Explorer is now running without add-ons. So if I go back to that website, bbc.co.uk, now you might find that some web pages might not load without add-ons. If they don't, then um, unfortunately you can't do that in Internet Explorer. The only way around it is to remove or disable Google toolbar. Right, okay, so you click on the little cog just up there in the top right hand corner, click on file, click save as, Okay, and then what we do is we change this savers type to web archive single file, and we can then give the file a name. So let's just call it BBC homepage. Okay, and then we click the save button there. And remembering, of course, where we've saved it at the moment, this is saving this into the documents folder. So click on save, and there we go, it's now saved. So if I click on the cross there, go down to the yellow folder at the bottom of the screen here. Okay, go into documents there. And there we have it, BBC homepage. So if I double click that, it'll ask us what program do we want to open it in. So we're just going to select Internet Explorer and then click OK. And up comes the page that we saved earlier. Now, you might find that it doesn't work on all pages, but the majority of them, it will work. And that page will be saved on your computer until you decide to delete it. Now, if you want to do this in Google Chrome, then what we can do is we can open up Google Chrome just by double clicking on the icon and we can download a app for Google Chrome to allow us to save pages. So what we do is we click in the address bar at the top of the screen there, right at the top of the screen, press the delete or the backspace key just to clear anything out of it. And then we type chrome.google.com forward slash extensions. And then press enter or return on your keyboard. That will then load the Chrome Web Store. So all we do is we just click in to search the store and then we type in there save page we and then press enter or return on the keyboard and there we go so we've got this save page we move your mouse over add to chrome and left click once and then move your mouse over add extension and left click once and there we go it says save page we has been added to chrome so again we can go to any web page so let's just go to the bbc and once we're there any page we want to save, whilst we're at that page, all we do is we just click on that disk at the top of the page there, left click once, and there you go, it's now saved. But where is it saved to? So let's just close down Google Chrome, okay? And if I click on the yellow folder at the bottom there, and then click on the downloads folder, there you go, it's saved into the downloads fo folder. So I now double click the BBC Home, and there we go, the page that I saved has now loaded. If you haven't got Google Chrome, you can also do this in Mozilla Firefox. So just open Firefox. And once Firefox is open, click on the three horizontal lines in the top right hand corner of the screen and then go down to add-ons, click add-ons. And then in this box here, which is says find more add-ons, just click in there and type save page we. 
and then either press enter or return on your keyboard or click the magnifying glass just there. And then once this page is loaded, just click on save page WE just there and then move your mouse over, add to Firefox and click on add to Firefox. Then when this comes up up here, just click add. And there we go, it says save page WE has been added to Firefox. So we just click okay, got it. And the same principles apply. So let's just go to the BBC's website once again. And then once the page is loaded, we can click on the disk just up there, just left click it and there you go, it's now saved. We just have to click save file there. OK, and then click OK, and that will then save into the downloads folder. So let's just close down Firefox. So we click on the yellow folder at the bottom of the screen there, go to downloads, and there we go, it's there in downloads. So we double click on it to open it up, and it opens up in our default browser. Mine in this case is Chrome, and there you go. That guide showed you how to save web pages on the internet to your computer. Hope this guide helps. Thanks for watching. You can follow me on Twitter at CW Tech, that's at CW Tech on Twitter. And don't forget to check out my other videos in my YouTube channel, just Google Chris Waite YouTube. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for your support.